top team here. Yes, and Derek Rim and Mikhail Sibitsky will be wanting to move up from the second place that they find themselves in after the rhythm dance. Such an emotional performance from Daria Grimm and Michal Sabitsky, a team that have gone through a lot lately, and you could sense that emotion being channeled perfectly into the Adagio piece in their free dance. Well, you know, Mark, you know, maybe it's because I don't know much. But <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. You know, I know, exactly. I'm going, it really impresses me, the level of uh, ice dancing at this junior mm. level. It really does. It's amazing because not long ago, this would have been top senior. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, it's, I don't mean this team. I mean a number of these teams, right? And it's early on in the season. So it's very entertaining, excellent work by coach and skaters. Yeah. And I think also what's great with Daria and Michael is that we see when, you know, we've talked about the brilliance of the, the same coaches that we see producing so much brilliant work, but Daria and Michael bring 
very different level feature choices. So we're seeing, you know, they train away from a lot of the other best teams. So they're picking different choices on, you know, in, not uninspired, not, but um, with uh, others in their training environment. And sometimes it's a blessing for only being around one, maybe one other team as opposed to a whole host of other teams because they have different feature choices. Yeah, and they're inspiring themselves. Yeah, the, the only thing with that, Michael, that I would suggest is that their leg lines don't necessarily match as cleanly as maybe the likes of the French team that we saw. So sometimes the range of turnout, or the range of point, or the range of extension isn't quite as established and solidified between them. So you can see here, just the free legs, not as matched in each of the types of extension. So perhaps when it comes to the criteria for unison and oneness, that'll be their area of improvement, but wondrous choreographic hydroglide movement. There's seven different types of choreographic choice. And I think this is the only team to choose the choreographic hydroglide and they do it brilliantly. And well, will it be enough? 98.37 is their personal best. They'll need a 94.47 to take the lead. And it's <laughs> gonna be ever so close. And I think, you know, knowing what the team's going through this season, it's great that they have pushed themselves to compete here at United. And thanks to Neil Brown for supporting them here. Catalina Herrmann, also the German team sports psychologist, also here as part of the support network for these young skaters. And actually, when they debuted last year's free dance, they had some more sticky points then, so they've come out with the debut with a clean skate. Yeah. Free dance score 94.36. That is second in the free dance. And you can see, sort of see that a little bit nodding their head back and forth with the total competition score 156.33. And that'll put them in second place with one team to come. They're on the podium, maybe not the step that they wish to stand. 